Hello, Curious. If you thought that now as we get into 2021, maybe the Sussexes will finally have some peace and quiet since it's exactly that desire that made them leave the royal family and their royal titles behind, well, you would be wrong. It seems that this year, the couple will continue to make headlines just as they did in 2020, especially now that their podcast has kicked off. What did we learn from their first episode? And which of their famous celebrity friends had made appearances? And what is Samantha Markle's upcoming book going to be about? Stay with us until the very end to find out all of the latest gossip, where this royal couple is concerned. But before we continue, don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Now with everything that has happened, it does seem like a lifetime ago that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had announced to the world that they would be stepping back as senior members of the royal family. But no curious, that announcement had come a year ago in the first few weeks of 2020, and obviously all that kickstarted attacks on the couple and Markle alone by the press and the royal family enthusiasts were not so fond of Harry's chosen one. Of course, as things go, them living the royal family was even given its own name by the media, and thus the Megxit was created. It wasn't easy for them, where the media pressure is concerned because it seems that them saying their desire for privacy, and especially for the media to leave them in peace, backfired on them because their every move was carefully analyzed and anticipated, whether just to report what the couple has been doing or whether to find out something that could be criticized. But after an adventurous year of moving from one place to another and finding Finally finding their dream house, the couple has started to begin working on their careers. And if you wish to know more about the Sussex's humble abode, then be sure to click on the link above. But don't go just yet, we have many things to discuss where the future projects of these two are concerned. Their big career announcement in a bid to secure their financial independence and to start a new brand and chapter in their lives and careers came in the form of high-profile deals and the most notable ones have been Netflix and Spotify. And it is Spotify one which we will talk about today. The news first came out at the start of December when it was announced that the husband and wife duo had formed a production company called Archwell Audio and signed a multi-year deal with the music streaming company. Working with them, they plan to host and produce podcasts that uplift and entertain audiences. At the time, the two released a statement in which they shared the news and said that they both love podcasting as it reminds everyone to take a moment and to stop and to really listen and connect with another person, you know, without any distractions. And so their first episode was a Christmas special that dropped around the holiday period and for them it had served as a reflection of the difficulties of living through the pandemic. The podcast featured a number of guests which perfectly showed off the couple's list of famous friends, more on which in a moment. And with it, they all shared their own experiences of getting through the chaos that was known as the 2020 as well as reflecting on their own hopes of the future for 2021. At the beginning of the first episode, which is 34 minutes long, Meg had explained the whole idea about it. We thought, what if we could bring together some people that inspire us and people we admire that get their thoughts on what they learned from 2020. Now their famous friends and guests, before she and Harry married, Megan was an actress so clearly she already had an extensive list of contacts to her advantage and Prince Harry is well a prince and had to attend many events in his career which meant that he too got to meet many interesting people and that was reflected in their podcast. Filmmaker Tyler Perry, in whose house the couple lived in after moving to LA, was one of those guests. Pop legend Elton John and pro tennis player Naomi Osaka had also made appearances. But that wasn't the end. James Corden, author Deepak Chopra, spoken word performer George the Poet, British food activist Christina Aden, politician Stacey Abrams, chef Jose Andres, professor Bryn Brown, authors Rachel Cargill and Matt Haig, and musician Hussein Manowar had also been featured. And that surely is an extensive list of guests, and especially a lot to include in a podcast where the episode is only just 30 minutes long. Compared to the other podcast episodes, the couple didn't speak with their guests but asked them to send in their audio recordings about the topics agreed on and the two would comment as the podcast went on or share some of their own anecdotes based on something that their friends would say. Their guests reflected on being able to either spend more time with their family or being able to keep in touch with them much more easier due to the pandemic, which they had all been grateful for, and James Corden had even commented that due to the fact that he was able to spend so much time with his children, that the relationship he had with them has changed, and for the better of course. At one point in the podcast, George the Poet noted that by the time listeners will tune into this episode, he would have proposed to his girlfriend, and to that, both Meghan and Harry had exclaimed that it was amazing and that the prince had joked 
joke that he hopes that he said that otherwise this would be very awkward. And though we can 100% confirm to you that she did say yes. So, however, without a shadow of doubt, the true star of the episode was none other than Little Archie. Given the fact that the two want to keep their son's life as normal as possible, given his dad's literally prince, you know, so it's no surprise that his appearances in the media had been limited. And each time he did appear, it was met with delight from the couple's fans. So surely you can imagine how happy the fans were when the one-year-old Archie made his podcast debut in the episode. And when Harry introduced his son at one point, he was speaking about the microphone to which Markle asked to their son, is it fun? To which he replied, fun. And they also got their son to say, happy new year into the microphone before the parents erupt into laughter. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you steal the show in Archie style. So surely if the little one makes more appearances in the future episodes, then it will surely keep the family and podcast in the trending pages because because it is there for one thing, and that's for the fans and the royal family. And they love it, and the videos and photos of the youngest members of the monarchy. Another thing that's guaranteed to keep the family in the headlines in the upcoming weeks is the book that Meghan's half-sister, Samantha, is releasing. Huh. And here you thought that the Markle family drama was over. Well, possibly the book could unleash new information that will keep the media talking. It seems that the book that Samantha plans on releasing is a tell-all memoir about growing up with Meghan. And if anyone has been keeping up with the Markles, then you will be aware that she had talked about releasing the book for a few years, but only now she's finally getting to do it. And the title of the book is The Diary of a Princess's Pushy Sisters. And as you can tell just from the title alone, there is a lot to unpack, and the main one being that she calls Megan pushy, which does suggest that maybe she won't be portrayed in the best light, and the other obviously being part one, meaning that there will be more, given that the publishers decide that it will be worth it sales-wise. The book will be out on January 17th, and surely it will interest both fans of the royal couple and those who aren't Meghan's biggest fans. Barnes & Noble, who are the publishers, have described the book as, Amidst a firestorm of fake news and a media mayhem, Samantha Markle shares the truth about her life and family against all odds and ultimatums as a royal fairy tale plummets from the tea towels. And sometimes, the truth really is a stranger than fiction. So from that alone, the readers can surely expect that some never-heard-before stories which could once again cause a storm for the Duchess's life. According to the British newspaper Express, the book publication wasn't as easy, and according to them, Samantha has claimed that her decision to write and sell the book has led her to receive threats and harassment. Allegedly, she was forced to move twice to escape threats from the upcoming release date. And according to insiders, Meghan has been aware of these plans, and she had been in tears when she first found out. And due to the tighter libel laws in the UK, you know, the book might have never made it across the pond into print, however, it will surely be all over the internet. So curious, have you listened to the Archwell podcast? What are your thoughts on it? Were you excited about hearing Archie speak in the episode? What secrets do you think Samantha's Markle book will reveal? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, please share and subscribe to our channel, and we shall see you in the next episode.